Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight's video is going to be a little bit different than normal. Uh, it's not a car mod, but it is a, a mod for the garage. Um, I've always wanted some decent speakers in here. I've been using the uh, the Bose portable uh, rechargeable speaker, which actually does sound pretty decent. Um, but I've always wanted kind of like a dedicated set to have out here, um, just for listening to music and everything. And you know, because I'm out here a lot. And I, um, you know, I'm somebody that enjoys music, so I figured this would be the first time to actually get something that's pretty decent. Um, you know, I wasn't looking for anything crazy or, uh, you know, top of the line or anything like that. Just something that had Bluetooth. Uh, I didn't need a receiver. I didn't want anything complicated. I just wanted a, basically this, a two, you know, two speaker setup. Uh, I was initially looking at 2.1s, which is basically two speakers and a, and a sub. Um, but I'll get into into that uh, in a little bit um, as to why I chose this this model and this this um, these speakers specifically. But again, I just really wanted something simple that can sit on the on the table here um, and just sound pretty good. Um, the the garage is about a twenty by twenty, so it's a typical two car garage. Uh, it's nothing huge, so I don't need you know crazy uh, decibels or crazy uh, wattage or anything like that. Uh, I think these will do the trick. Simple enough. It's by a brand called Edifier. Um, I actually reached out to a group that I follow. Um, actually, you probably guys know them. They're Obsessed Garage. I'm a part of their Facebook group. And um, I kind of reached, you know, I usually go to go to them for stuff like this um, that I'm really not too, uh, you know, educated on. Um, something that I just kind of want some quick results that a lot of people have done, you know, hours and hours of research uh, on this kind of stuff and kind of just point me in the right direction. Um, so initially I was kind of looking for something, uh, you know, like under a hundred dollars. I don't want to spend anything crazy. Um, but then the more I started looking into it and the more feedback I got from people, um, I decided to splurge a little bit more, uh, and spend, um, just a, you know, a few bucks more just to get something decent. Um, because I don't want to, you know, spend, you know, a hundred bucks, uh, just to find out they're just, you know, they sound like crap and I'm going to return them. So, these are actually, I got them from Amazon. Uh, they're $1.99, so they're $200. bucks. i am not an audio person. I really don't, um, you know, I'm not I'm not a geek about it or anything. I, you know, I, I do enjoy good sound, but I'm not, um, I'm not gonna nerd out on the specs or anything like that. You know, that's not really my thing. It's more so just uh, looking for, you know, some something that has some good bass, some clear, uh, clear tones and everything. Um, so nothing over the tops. I've never heard these in person. I have no idea what they sound like, uh, but this is probably my, most um, high-end type of speaker that I've ever got before. So I'm sure it'll sound pretty decent to me. Um, so then that's all I'm looking for. But to get into it, this is a brand called Edifier. Uh, they're really, really well known. Um, a lot of people recommended these. Again, I don't really know much about them, but I know they're pretty decent after reading the reviews and just talking to people and everything. Um, this is the R1850DB. Uh, from what I've gathered, this is the newer model. I believe they have it 1700, with, which is the uh, previous model, and this is the newer one. Um, so maybe we can see some specs over here. Um, they are, one thing that I do know that I, I do like are silk dome speakers, um, and these do have a 19 millimeter silk dome, which is really nice. Uh, the mid-range and bass speaker unit, it's, it's four inches, so nothing crazy, but um, again, this is a small space, so I don't need anything insane. Uh, but, you know, I'll get in, I'll, once I open these up, and I'll, I'll show you in a sec, um, the good thing about these is you can add a sub later, um, and it has an output for a sub to add later on if you really wanted to, which is nice. Uh, you know, some of them don't have that option, um, so if I ever want to kind of upgrade or you know make it a little bit more, I can always do that. Um, and they're pretty pretty decently small. Um, you know, they're let's see, ten inches high, and they're six inches wide, so it's it's not huge. They're they're mainly bookshelf speakers, as I call them. So. Um, you can put them on the bookshelf or, you know, someplace near your computer desk if you wanted to. Um, so they're not going to take up much space. And that's one thing I was concerned about, too. I don't want these giant uh, speakers sitting here. I only have this much space on the tool bench, which is about six feet. Um, so I don't want anything crazy that's going to take up a lot of space and take away from the actual point of the bench, which is to be able to work on it. So um, I'm still debating. I might put them on top here. I might remove, you know, move all this stuff. Um, and put them up top there, but I don't know. I'll probably just keep them down here. But the nice part about it is they do, it does have a remote uh, and I do have uh, controls through the phone because it is Bluetooth. Um, so if I do put them a little bit higher up here, um, it's not gonna make a difference. I won't have to, you know, to 
actually touch the speakers to turn them on or mess with it or anything. So that's nice. So let's get to opening these up and seeing what they actually look like um, and going from there. All right, so let's open them up. Um, again, I really don't, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you every single little spec because I don't know them. <laughs> I mean, you just gotta read them off the, uh, the, the box or the, the manual. Um, I mean, you can look them up. I'll put the link down below where I got them in case if you guys are interested in something like this. Uh, again, they're, you know, 200 bucks, so it's nothing crazy expensive. But, you know, like I said, for me, this is the most expensive set of speakers I've ever had. Um, but I did want something decent. You get your manual, basic stuff. Um, it seems like you get a, a little cleaner, like one of those, um, like a sunglass type cleaner. Uh, and it seems like the two speakers, obviously. Something over here. That's the power cord. So it is packed really nicely. They do actually have some weight, which is pretty nice. Um, you know, they don't feel cheap. Um, I mean, I would hope not if spending that, you know, 200 bucks. Oh, it come with a cover on it, too. Um, so, you know, you got your RCAs, some wiring and stuff. I guess you can do other different things. Let's get this one out. Okay. So, sorry, it's not the best angle, but seems to be the power cord. So let's move the box over here and um, get this stuff out of the way so you guys get a better better angle here. Um, all right, so it comes in the plastic, which is typical, but then it actually comes with a nice like felt kind of cover on it, which is a nice touch. Um, So it's just taped on, nothing crazy. Kind of weird they don't cover the actual speaker with this stuff. I, mean, I probably won't do much. I know the cover's on there, but... Um... Okay, cool. Wow. So these are pretty nice. It has a nice finish on the side. Um, it's like a gloss black finish, which is really nice. Super... Yeah, it's just ceramic coat these. <laughs> For no reason other than just to ceramic coat them. Um, We'll throw that aside, but you know, as you can see, there's not much to them. There's not, you know, it's just a few plugs to plug in. There's not all these crazy um, wires and, and different things you need to hook up. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, and that's just exactly what I wanted. All right, so I got the cover off. So let's take a little bit closer look um, as to what's behind there, because uh, it's pretty boring with those on. I almost prefer just keeping it like this, but obviously you want to keep that on for protection. Um, but uh, up here, you got your silk dome, uh, which is the tweeter part. Um, so, and I always prefer the sound of tweed, of uh, silk. It just, I don't know, to me, it just kind of sounds better in my ear. Everybody's sound preferences are different, um, but I just prefer silk. Um, and here's the mid. It has a ru nice rubber uh, seal around it. So, you know, it's not plastic or anything. It feels pretty quality. And then you got your little tiny uh, four inch sub down there. Um, so overall, really nice. Um, this is the back, this is the powered one, I believe. Yeah. So as you can see, here's the output, or the, uh, all the controls and stuff back here. Um, you know, you got your, let's see, your treble, your bass, uh, your volume right here. Um, it does come with a controller, I believe. Controller right here, then there you can't really see. Um, so, you know, you do have control of the volume and everything, but here you can adjust it. Um, uh, you also, like I said before, you have your sub out. So if you wanted to add a sub, uh, you can do that. And they really, it's really nice to actually have an edifier uh, sub to add to this if you want. Um, but I've heard that the Polk, uh, I forget which one it is, but the Polk is is pretty good and actually works with it. Again, like I said, these are Bluetooth, uh, which is my my main option or main thing that I wanted out of out of a speaker. Um, just because I'm out here and I don't want to have to, you know, hook up a million wires and everything. I just want something simple. Um, but you do have the option to connect uh, with RCAs and everything. There's there's enough options here that you can kind of you know use it for pretty much anything. Um, but I have a feeling these are going to be more than enough for what I need. Um, you know, obviously getting into uh, home theater or, or, you know, sound and music and everything and speakers, uh, it's kind of a big wormhole <laughs> and it's just like cars, you know, once you kind of dive into that uh, hobby or interest, um, it, it, you really can um, get pretty far in it and can get expensive. So <laughs> I'm going to try my best not to get too into it and not read up um, too much on it because I know my myself and my personality once I kind of start thinking about something, I get a little carried away with uh, everything that I do. So let's unbox the right one. 
Same thing, but this one just doesn't have all the controls in the back because uh, this one has the actual unit to power it. Uh, this is just the, an actual speaker. So um, it does have the plug, which I believe right here, these, this is the plug that actually connects uh, the two speakers together. And then you just have your main, uh, you know, AC plug to plug into the actual outlet to get power. Um, so, and that's all you'll need. You know, I won't need all this other stuff um, unless I'm actually connecting it to, you know, a monitor or, or a TV or something like that, which I don't plan on doing at this point. Um, but for right now, I'm just, like I said, I'm just using them out here. So it's not gonna be uh, anything complicated. Uh, but yeah, I mean, same thing. We'll take a look with this, the uh, cover off. Really nicely made. I mean, for 200 bucks, this is pretty crazy. Um, like I said, this is the nicest set of speakers I've ever had. <laughs> so anything to me that's over, you know, 50 bucks is awesome. Um, but yeah, really clean. Uh, I don't want anything that was too bright or anything. Um, there's some, there's some of them out there that are just like obnoxious. Uh, I mean, I do like sometimes when the, when the, the mid or one of the speakers is like gold or has like a cool color to it. Uh, just because it's like a little cool thing when you take off the cover, it just looks nice. But, um, you know, I don't mind this. This is very simple. You know, it's kind of me, just all black and everything, and um, which is not a problem. So let's actually power them up, um, see how they actually sound. Uh, it is going to be very difficult to actually show you guys what these things sound like through video. Um, you know, I don't have the sound equipment to actually make, you know, make, represent the actual sound that I'm, I'm hearing in person. Um, but I'll do my best, give a verbal um, review or thought, give my thoughts on it. I do have to play royalty free music because I will get copyrighted if I put anything that, you know, is popular. So bear with me on the music. <laughs> um, just some, I want to try something with um, some decent bass um, just so I can get a feel of kind of what it can do. Uh, so let's get, let's get these things hooked up. I'm not going to really show you how to do that. It's very simple. You literally just plug these two in. Um, to either side and then you plug it into um, uh, an outlet and then I guess I'll show you uh, or I'll explain how easy or how hard it was to actually connect to these because a lot of times things like this with Bluetooth um, it, it can some people the connectivity issues are just a, a problem so uh, with my Bose speaker up here um, it is pretty simple you literally just turn it on and it connects right away so I'm kind of hoping it's similar with these which it should because the reviews were saying it's pretty good um, so let me get these hooked up uh, enough talking and let's actually hear these things. All right guys, so I got them hooked up um, Sound really 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 good. I'm really impressed with them uh, Super clear but has plenty of volume uh, The bass it sounds really nice. It's not overpowering or anything. Obviously you can adjust that on the back uh, with the knob there But honestly these things are um, <laughs> Kind of impressed for for the money uh, more than enough um, you know, I, like I said, I don't. I didn't want anything crazy. I don't want anything over the top, uh, but it definitely. Um, I definitely think it's exactly what I was looking for. Not, you know, I didn't want. I just want a Bluetooth connectivity. I just play Spotify or music through my phone. You know, I'm not connecting any um, external anything. It's literally just going to be this, um, and it sounds really good. I just kind of been messing with it uh, in terms of connecting to Bluetooth. Uh, you know, I literally went to the Bluetooth and it popped right up. Connect to it. Um, and I heard that obviously there was sound coming through. I heard the, uh, you know, just the noise knowing that the speaker was on. Uh, but it took a little bit at first, I guess, just to connect, um, you know, just kind of recognizing it. Uh, but I tried it a few more times and it, it was it connected right away. So I guess it's that initial connection or just, you know, finding, I guess, you know, the signal and everything. Um, but, you know, that was just the first time. So I'm not worried about it. But it really did. It connected easily. I can, I can, um, Go through you know spotify the music on my phone uh anything basically and if i wanted to watch a youtube video or something like that um easily can just you know connect right to this um at some point i would like to get a, a tv in here um so it might be cool to kind of hook those up um you know i don't know where uh, probably tv will probably maybe be up here or something I'm not really sure uh if i'm gonna put one out here because i'm not i'm not sure how much i would actually use it uh but it is good to have that option too i can i can connect it to uh, a TV if I really wanted to, but uh, let me get some, try to get some music playing through here. Um, like I said, it's going to be royalty free, so it's not, you know, the coolest music or anything that you probably guys, that you guys probably listen to. So uh, let me see what I can do. Oh, also, side note, my wife brought me out a drink. Pretty sweet. <laughs> it's uh, watermelon juice, which is something that I always said that people should sell. I don't know why 
Uh, we just found it for the first time, but um, yeah, it's watermelon juice and Tito's, which is vodka, so pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, let me get some sound through here and um, kind of, I guess, show you what it sounds like. You're not going to really uh, know exactly what it sounds like just because you're not here, but uh, just to kind of, you know, kind of talk you through it and um, get some sound through these things. Go playing some music through it. Uh, again, you're not going to be able to really tell um, just what it sounds like, but and also my kids are sleeping, so I can't put it too loud. <laughs> it definitely has some good bass. I mean, it fills out the garage totally fine. Yeah, man, these are sick. Really cool. So yeah, they're super clear, super clean. I mean, you have the adjustments on the back here. You, know, you can change the treble and the bass and everything like that. And uh, there's a master volume uh, knob that you can do. Um, but yeah, man, for 200 bucks, this is pretty sweet. Really happy with that. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask them below. Again, I'm not an auto geek or nerd or anything like that. I don't really know much about it. So if you do have questions about it, you know, just be sure to check out the link. It has everything there. Uh, but for somebody like me, if you're looking for just a decent speaker with Bluetooth connectivity, with not all the, uh, all, all the extra nonsense and everything, just something simple, uh, I would definitely recommend these to check them out. Sound really good, easy to set up, connects right to your phone. You can play whatever you know device that you want to play through it, uh, whatever app, whatever it is you want to do, works perfectly. Um, so this is exactly what I wanted, really happy with it. Came in a few days, obviously Amazon too. So um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, be sure to ask them below. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, if you're a newcomer, be sure to like the video. It really does help. I know this is a little bit different than my normal car stuff, which is right here, my STI, um, but uh, you know, I figured I would kind of update you guys because this is kind of like a garage mod um, and I'm sure some of you might be interested. So that is all. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.